work day, so mid to late afternoon. It is so nice outside. There are days that I am sad that I spend a majority of my weekdays inside, especially now that the weather is getting really nice. But it's going to be a busy evening, so I'm going to go get some dinner and then walk around downtown for a little bit, and I thought I would do a vlog. I think I found the worst thing in life. Traffic. Traffic is the worst thing. So this whole past week, I have been trying this like 10 day green smoothie cleanse, which essentially, sorry, it's a bumpy road. This road is horrible. But essentially it is where you start your day by making like 60 to 72 ounces of a green smoothie. And the book has the recipes you use. And they assign you a recipe per day and you divide your 72 fluid ounces into three big meals or mason jars in my case and you have one for breakfast lunch and dinner and then you get two snacks and those snacks are either like two cups of fruit two cups of vegetables quarter cup of nuts seeds you're basically living it is essentially a raw vegan diet and you're only supposed to do it for you know five to ten days and i did it Monday through Friday of last week, and I lost six pounds in four days. And I didn't feel like I was, you know, dying or anything. The first couple days were rough just because you realize you can't eat out of boredom anymore. But after you get over that, you know, the, the results are pretty good. Guys, I went eight days without coffee. The, this is day eight, like still going strong day eight. If you're new to this channel, I'll fill you in real quick. That doesn't happen. That is not a thing. Although one of my voice students came over for her lesson yesterday and she brought a Starbucks tea and she said she watched my YouTube video of my favorite Starbucks drinks and knew I liked this one and she brought it for me and it was so sweet. And I said, yes, I didn't break my coffee fast, but I did break the green smoothie fast uh, Friday night. I had one green smoothie Friday, Saturday, and Sunday just for one meal replacement. And when I weighed in this morning on Monday, I had it gained and I had it lost, so I maintained. I have decided since I have a long night and I'm not going home, I was gonna choose a place to get some food and edit videos that are coming out later this week, actually before this video does. And I decided to try Panera Bread's You Pick Two and get a salad and their garden vegetables. I like getting out of work before five, like well before five o'clock because it lets me beat rush hour. And right now I looked up back ways to get to Panera so I don't have to deal with traffic because you already saw me trying to make a left turn out of my office and that makes me angry enough. So if you guys could not tell by that empty plate, I was starving. I rarely ever finish the entire plate of salad, but today, didn't matter how much green was there, I was craving that solid food and it was delicious. Now I'm gonna drive over to my favorite part of the city and walk around a little bit before tonight's activities. I'm in love with your body, oh I, oh I, oh I, oh I. I'm in love with your body, oh I, oh I, oh I, oh I. I'm in love with your body, oh I, oh I. So tonight's activity, it feels so weird to say this because it is not something I normally do or say I'm going to do. 
I'm going to be joining the opera company here in Columbus, Ohio, or Opera Columbus as they call it, for um, their spring production of Carmen. And there's a long backstory to this, uh, but long story short, I auditioned for Columbus Opera a year ago. And they didn't have an opening in the company for a soprano, so I just kind of got put on the wait list. It's pretty standard, happens all the time. And then, nine months later, when you're least expecting it, I got a phone call asking me to join the opera company. So I signed contracts, and tonight we will be rehearsing here in downtown. And I'm actually walking by where we're gonna be rehearsing. I'll show you. I won't lie to you guys, I am very nervous to do this because I studied opera in college, I did it along with musical theater and jazz in like music study, but I haven't sung in an opera in several years and it's been at least six since it's been a professional opera. So you know what, I'm gonna fake it till I make it. Um, I read the roster of the other people in the company. Ooh, crosswalk, hold on. They all have these like amazing resumes. Um, our Carmen came from Juilliard. She sung at the Metropolitan Opera. So now I had my dinner early. I'm gonna go walk downtown a little bit, I have my script in my backpack. And yes, I go to a corporate office every day with a backpack on, because I'm cool. But I'm gonna go down to what's called the Sayota Mile and just take a walk and prepare myself for opera rehearsal. Windy to film or vlog during the Sayota Mile walk, so I just got a little bit of footage. I think if I can reach 5,000 steps on this evening walk, I will go get a small dessert treat at Starbucks and water. I don't need any of the drinks, even though they're all delicious. All right, I'm back at the theater. Got about an hour till the rehearsal starts, so I'm gonna go to the Starbucks next door, get some tea edit a couple videos and get ready for seven o'clock. I'm gonna walk in like I know what's going on. Like I know my music, I'm just gonna walk in like, I sing opera all the time. Fake it till I make it. going in. There's no more procrastinating and I think it's raining. Yep, it's raining. But um, bad news is that the Starbucks was closed so I just kind of snuck into the hotel next door and pretended like I worked there. And then this place right here to my left just went in there and I got a bottle of water so I could, you know, be professional. And I got a cookie. It's time to go. My hair is all sorts of messed up in my viewfinder. I don't care. It's time to go to opera rehearsal. 